owned businesses span the landscape in Central Florida. Tailors, accountants, lawyers, electricians, you name it, we're doing it. But how do you seek out and support a local black owned business? I met the man engineering your guidebook. You know, it's all love and we want to keep pushing each other up. Russell Drake is an engineer. By trade, he builds things. What he's working on right now takes construction, but not the physical kind. I saw an opportunity to enlighten the community about businesses, uh, businesses that were black owned that needed support overall. During the pandemic, Russell wanted to do something, something to support the community of black owned businesses he knew was suffering. Now, you sought out to do, what, 100 businesses in 100 days? <laughs> Actually, I sought out to do just the month of February initially because I didn't, I didn't know if I knew 100 businesses, but I said I at least, after being here 20 years, should know um, 29 businesses, at least 29 businesses that of, of good merit and quality that I could support and highlight. Russell visited a different black owned business each day, hoping a simple shout out on Facebook would increase their foot traffic among his thousands of local friends. That original goal of just Black History Month. If I can make it to 300, I got to go to 365. I have to. Became the whole year. Everything from accounting firms to a law firm. I did uh, fitness, uh, fitness studios as well as um, I would say just education, uh, education, edu edutainment uh, businesses. Also did clothing businesses. I caught up with Russell at the first business he visited when the mission began, Island Time Caribbean Grill in East Orlando. You don't know what a business owner goes through, especially when a pandemic hits. I mean, these are persons who are, at the end of the day, they want to keep their lights on and keep their employees paid. The response Russell received from taking those photos and posting them on Facebook started to build something else. It morphed into a movement called Build Black Daily because that's exactly what I was doing. It was uh, building black daily in the community, building up black businesses, highlighting them, bringing more uh, financial opportunities to them and uh, helping create a network um, bigger than the one that they were currently in. Bill Black Daily has its own Facebook page, website, and within that website, a guide, 74 pages long, of black-owned businesses local to here in Central Florida. And daily, Russell adds more companies. We're raising the bar of excellence along the way. And again, there's not enough people doing this, and we need more people to do this. Russell's work is being supported by the African American Chamber of Commerce and Black Business Orlando. When you think of Black History Month and black history leaders, do you consider yourself one? I, I, um, I think of myself as a community advocate and leading the people. Um, I didn't always think of it like that. Uh, but once a gentleman came to me and said, you're looking for the leaders, but the, the young people are now the new leaders. So either you own it or you back away from it. So I said, well, I guess I have to own it. And if you own it, you know, you work to uh, take stances that can um, empower people and push people forward and realize that people are looking at you at all time. Um, you know, we're human and we have flaws, but if you want to set the example uh, for what you want to see, you got to be that change that you want to see first. 